families can sometimes feel barriers to talking to other people and, and, and perhaps particularly early childhood professionals about any mental health problem that uh, their child might be facing. Parents can feel like they're not doing enough. Parents can also feel like they might be blamed by professionals um, or their concerns not really taken seriously. It's really important that um, even if it, it's not something to worry about, that the parent feel like they, their concerns can be heard by the Early Childhood Education Centre um, and that they can be uh, discussed and talked through. Because the, the partnership between the parent and the Early Childhood uh, Education Centre is really the thing that will uh, scaffold the child and keep the child um, developing well. So if there's any concerns on any side, it's important to talk about them. If they're something uh, that both become concerned, share the concern, then the partnership can then think about, well, what do we need to do about it and how can we make things better for this child at this time? For many families, they'll be really reluctant to seek the expert help of professionals who, because they may fear their child may be diagnosed with a mental health illness. And that can really prevent people getting help and can prevent them also um, getting the help that they need because we know, for example, in the early years that interventions that help when there are signs of mental illness or there is a mental, di uh, um, mental health diagnosis, they can really change the course of a child's development for the positive. So it can be really important for, to be very careful about labelling and using labels of mental health problems with a child, especially in an early childhood setting. The child is the, child, is the name of the child, that's the child, they're, they are Jack, they are Susan, they are Jennifer, that's, that, that's who they are, they're not a diagnosis and it's really important that the child is seen just as a, as a child in that context. Sometimes a family won't follow up a concern that an educator has raised because uh, they've got too much else they're dealing with. They're really overburdened. Um, sometimes it can be that they've had um, bad experiences themselves with, um, with service providers that might have been in their own family growing up or it might be currently. Sometimes it can be that they don't think they can afford it. Um, sometimes it might be that they disagree, that there's any problem and from their point of view they're not seeing the behaviour or they're not concerned about the behaviour. So I think it's, it can be a range of things. It can be an understanding of what the concern is, or it can be the resources, either emotional or practical, to actually respond to that concern. One of those things that does act as a pretty powerful disincentive for speaking to an educator is when there's a track record that's built up of the educators or the director or whoever you've been dealing with not following through. So you may have had discussions about something that's concerning you about your child and how they're fitting in or how they're coping with certain things and you've been assured that changes will be made and your child will be accommodated but then you discover that that hasn't been done or maybe it was done for the first week and then it just sort of dissipated and that's really disheartening and it, it places you as a parent in a really difficult position because if you can't turn to the educators to discuss those issues and find solutions, you know, who can you talk to? They're sort of the, the first line of defence um, and you really need to have a situation where you can communicate well and you can be confident that they will do what they say they're going to do. First of all, I think we've got to help people understand that seeking help is a good thing, that it's a positive thing, that will actually help prevent problems further on down the track, and that the earlier the intervention, the better. And I think it's quite important if, if it feels as if a family are very reluctant or are feeling very criticised by a suggestion or a recommendation that perhaps that there's a chance to explore how the family are responding to that suggestion rather than just kind of giving them the suggestion and assuming that they're going to welcome it. Because obviously saying that there's a concern about their child is felt very, very personally um, and heard very differently depending on what those parents' own experience has been in the past. I think the number one thing that would encourage me to seek help from an educator about my child is the fact that they've noticed something and mentioned it. Uh, and 
you know, maybe, maybe they haven't, maybe it's something that's only occurring at home. But I think that would be the number one thing. If they've noticed a change in my child's behaviour or that they're having difficulty with something, uh, then it's great if they'll, you know, mention it. Uh, sometimes it, it can be something really obvious. One of my children, uh, when she started childcare, had a lot of trouble separating from me in the mornings. Uh, and that went on for longer than it did with my other children. So that was something that was pretty obvious and pretty hard to miss. Um, but again, it's, it's about the educator being confident enough and having the communication skills um, to not just sort of intervene on an ad hoc basis, but to, you know, to take me aside and say, okay, well, you know, this is completely normal, so don't worry about it. Um, secondly, let's come up with a strategy for how we'll manage this over the next few weeks. Uh, thirdly, you know, do you want us to give you a call in 10 minutes time, just so you know that she's calmed down and she's fine and she's into her day? Uh, so I think it takes um, just a little bit of, you know, proactiveness on the part of the educators to encourage parents to engage in that sort of problem solving, because sometimes you, you don't want to start these things on your own, it takes a little bit of encouragement.